G'day, Darren Pilgrim here. We farm in Bordertown, South Australia, which is part of the Tatiara, upper southeast. We farm about 700 hectares here, which consists of canola, oat and hay, barley, wheat and beans. Seasonal conditions have been good. We probably had a little bit of a dry start, um, but then it, it's been very good the bulk of the way through. September became a little bit dry, but then we've had good rains from uh, probably three parts of the way through September and, and October's been uh, very kind for us. So it's gonna finish pretty strong. Crop wise, at the moment, we'd expect our wheat to do six tonne thereabouts. With our continual cropping program, our biggest issue is resistant ryegrass. So the paddock we chose was a very high ryegrass population paddock. It's been a real problem for the last five or six years, I'd say. The Matino Complete definitely helped to extend that window of control as opposed to using an IBS treatment. Going on with that early post-emergent, you're just going to get that three or four weeks or even more towards the end of the season where you can then rely a bit more on crop competition to help control your weeds. In a traditional year, we would get the ryegrass in the row, and so we would still have a percentage of ryegrass come through. Whereas with the Matino Complete, with the complete blanket spray across the furrow, we've found that uh, we've got almost zero ryegrass. Putting the Matino Complete on at that four week stage certainly didn't pose as a logistical challenge at all. Our spraying program was up to date, and, uh, and it seems to suit pretty well. Seeing other replicated plot trials in Matino complete, it's definitely outperformed other benchmarks, I'd say, for the last few years in ryegrass control in wheat, and even with broadleafs as well. I put it purely down to that extended window you get out of going early post-emergent, and the fact that you've got a few different actives that are in there as well. I'll probably use it in situations where we've got high weed pressure. It's definitely another good tool in the toolbox, especially in this situation. We've used Trefland followed by Matino, where we'd never think in a million years we could use Trefland here with and still get the wide grass control we've got. But I think we'll certainly be incorporating Matino Complete into our operation. It's another tool that we can uh, use and, and manage our ryegrass. It'll be a big part of our wheat production in the future.